Captain Sarah Jenkins, a seasoned pilot in Earth's Space Force, was known for her tactical brilliance and unyielding determination. Stationed on the ESS Vanguard, the fleet's most advanced battleship, she had faced numerous challenges, but none as formidable as the ongoing war with the Draconi Empire. This alien threat had pushed Earth's defenses to their limits, their relentless assaults causing widespread devastation. The Space Force was stretched thin, struggling to hold the line against the superior Draconi forces. During a routine patrol, the ESS Vanguard intercepted a distress signal from a remote outpost. Without hesitation, Sarah ordered her ship to respond. As they arrived, chaos greeted them. The outpost was under heavy attack by Draconi fighters. Sarah immediately took command, directing her crew with precision. Her tactical acumen shone as she orchestrated a counterattack, using the Vanguard's advanced weaponry and defensive systems to their fullest potential. Despite being outnumbered, her maneuvers were flawless, her courage unshakable. Under her leadership, the Vanguard managed to repel the Draconi assault, saving the outpost from certain destruction. In the aftermath of the battle, Sarah's prowess had not gone unnoticed. As the smoke cleared, she was approached by Admiral Renko, an enigmatic figure representing a coalition of alien races that had been covertly monitoring Earth's struggle. Renko revealed that the coalition had long been aware of the Draconi threat and had been searching for a way to assist Earth without drawing Draconi attention to themselves. Sarah's exceptional performance had marked her as a potential turning point in the war. Renko offered her command of the Phoenix, a state-of-the-art prototype ship equipped with advanced technology designed to counter the Draconi's strengths. The proposition was both daunting and exhilarating. Sarah wrestled with the magnitude of the responsibility being placed upon her shoulders. Commanding the Phoenix meant leaving the Vanguard and her crew, a team she had led through countless battles. But the opportunity to make a decisive impact in the war was too significant to ignore. Her sense of duty, combined with the desire to protect her home planet, ultimately swayed her decision. She accepted Renko's offer, driven by the hope that the Phoenix could be the key to defeating the Draconi. Before departing, Sarah bid an emotional farewell to her crew. The bond forged in the crucible of combat was strong, and leaving them behind was no easy task. Yet the mission ahead required her full commitment. With resolve, she boarded the Phoenix, ready to embrace the challenges that lay ahead. The ship's advanced systems and capabilities promised a new level of strategic warfare, and Sarah was determined to master them. Her journey with the Phoenix was just beginning and she knew that the fate of Earth depended on her success. Sarah stepped aboard the Phoenix, immediately struck by its sleek design and advanced technology. The ship's interior was a marvel of engineering, with holographic displays and state-of-the-art control systems. Orion, the ship's AI, introduced itself, providing a comprehensive overview of the Phoenix's capabilities. Sarah's training began in earnest, with Orion guiding her through the intricacies of the ship's weaponry, defensive systems, and propulsion. The Phoenix was equipped with next-generation plasma cannons, adaptive shields, and a stealth mode that made it virtually undetectable. Sarah's days were consumed with simulations and drills, each session pushing her to master the ship's full potential. Her confidence grew as she became more adept at navigating and commanding the Phoenix. During a routine training exercise in a remote sector, the Phoenix's sensors picked up an approaching Draconi scout ship. Recognizing the potential threat, Sarah decided to engage. She initiated the Phoenix's stealth mode, moving silently into position. With precise targeting, she unleashed the plasma cannons, tearing through the scout ship's defenses. The scout ship attempted to flee but was no match for the Phoenix's speed and firepower. Despite its destruction, the scout managed to transmit a distress signal to the Draconi fleet before being obliterated. The encounter, though brief, highlighted the Phoenix's formidable capabilities and the looming danger of an imminent Draconi response. Back on the Phoenix, Sarah and Orion meticulously analyzed the data retrieved from the scout ship. The decrypted information revealed detailed schematics of the Draconi fleet and their planned movements. Most alarming was the discovery of a large-scale offensive aimed directly at Earth's primary defense line. The Draconi strategy was clear, overwhelm Earth's forces with a massive, coordinated attack. 
This intelligence was crucial, providing a narrow window of opportunity to thwart the Draconi's plans. Sarah understood the gravity of the situation and knew that swift, decisive action was required to prevent catastrophe. Sarah immediately reached out to Admiral Renko, relaying the critical intelligence. The coalition quickly convened, evaluating the newfound data and devising a counter-strategy. They proposed an ambush, leveraging the Phoenix's advanced technology to disrupt the Draconi offensive before it could reach Earth. The plan involved luring the Draconi into a trap, using the Phoenix to strike at their weakest points. Sarah was tasked with spearheading this mission, her leadership and the Phoenix's capabilities deemed vital for success. She gathered her crew, sharing the battle plan and rallying them for the impending confrontation. Preparations were made with meticulous care, ensuring every detail was accounted for. As the Phoenix moved into position, Sarah felt a surge of determination. The fate of Earth rested on their shoulders, and failure was not an option. The Phoenix, joined by a small but formidable fleet of coalition ships, advanced toward the coordinates where the Draconi fleet was expected to emerge. As the enemy ships materialized from hyperspace, Sarah initiated the attack, coordinating with the Allied forces to create a tight net around the Draconi. The element of surprise worked in their favor at first, with several Draconi ships quickly disabled. Sarah expertly maneuvered the Phoenix through the chaos, delivering precise strikes while maintaining a strong defensive position. However, the Draconi fleet soon adapted, launching a fierce counterattack that threatened to overwhelm the coalition forces. As the battle raged on, the toll on both sides became evident. Ships were lost, and the space around them was filled with the debris of destroyed vessels. Sarah noticed a pattern in the Draconi formations and quickly identified their flagship, a massive dreadnought that commanded the fleet. Realizing that its destruction could turn the tide, she devised a daring plan to breach its formidable defenses. The Phoenix would need to get in close, risking everything for a chance to strike a decisive blow. Communicating her strategy to her crew, they prepared for the high-stakes maneuver. Sarah led the Phoenix in a bold charge towards the Draconi flagship, weaving through heavy fire and evading enemy fighters. The ship sustained significant damage, its shields fluctuating under the relentless assault. Yet, Sarah's piloting skills, combined with the ship's advanced systems, allowed them to push forward. As they closed in on the flagship, the crew worked in unison, readying the Phoenix's most powerful weapon. With precise timing, they unleashed a devastating barrage that pierced the flagship's core, causing a catastrophic explosion that rippled through the enemy fleet. The destruction of the Draconi flagships sent shockwaves through the remaining enemy forces. Disoriented and leaderless, the Draconi ships began to retreat in disarray. The coalition forces, though battered, pressed their advantage, driving the Draconi away from the battlefield. In the aftermath, the coalition celebrated their hard-won victory. The pivotal role of Sarah and the Phoenix was acknowledged, their actions having turned the tide of the war. Sarah, though triumphant, took a moment to reflect on the cost of the battle. She mourned the fallen comrades and allies, recognizing their sacrifices as the price of victory. The battle had been won, but the scars would remain as a testament to their courage and resolve. With the Draconi threat neutralized, Earth and the Coalition shifted focus to rebuilding. The Phoenix's advanced technology was instrumental in bolstering planetary defenses and revitalizing infrastructure. Energy shields, advanced weaponry, and automated repair systems were integrated into Earth's defenses, ensuring a robust line of protection against future threats. Collaborative efforts saw humans and Coalition engineers working side by side, restoring cities, enhancing communication networks, and developing new technologies. These joint projects fostered a deep sense of unity and cooperation, highlighting the strength found in their alliance. The coalition's leaders, along with Earth's representatives, convened to formalize their partnership. A historic treaty was signed, establishing a formal alliance dedicated to mutual defense, scientific collaboration, and cultural exchange. This agreement laid the groundwork for future joint missions and exploration endeavors. Plans were set in motion to explore uncharted territories, share technological advancements, and ensure the collective security of all member worlds. The alliance was more than a political arrangement. 
It was a commitment to shared progress and mutual respect, setting a powerful example for other civilizations. As Earth integrated the coalition's advanced knowledge and technology, the planet began to thrive. Innovations in healthcare led to the eradication of several diseases and improved overall well being. Education systems were enhanced with new learning tools, preparing future generations for the challenges of an interconnected galaxy. Infrastructure improvements made cities more efficient and sustainable. Celebratory events were held to commemorate the new era, with symbols of unity, such as the Interstellar Peace Monument, becoming focal points for cultural exchange and celebration. These events marked a significant shift towards a peaceful and prosperous future, driven by collaboration and shared ideals. Reflecting on her journey, Sarah understood the profound impact of the Phoenix and its mission. The battles fought and sacrifices made had paved the way for a brighter future. The legend of the Phoenix and its crew became a beacon of hope and inspiration, symbolizing the resilience and strength of humanity. As Earth and its allies continued to explore and protect the galaxy, united in their shared mission, the future looked promising. Sarah's story, and that of the Phoenix, stood as a testament to the power of unity and the enduring spirit of cooperation.